In this video tutorial, we'll use SOLIDWORKS to create a detailed drawing and cut list for a welded frame, and then generate printable patterns to use when grinding the structural members for a perfect fit. The first step we'll demonstrate is how to create the drawing and cut list in SOLIDWORKS. Next, we'll save the structural member out of the frame and prepare it so that we can flatten it out as a sheet metal part. Finally, we'll place this flat pattern onto a drawing sheet with true scale and thus create the template we need to accurately cut the tube ends. With the completed model of the frame displayed, select Make Drawing from Part Assembly and from the New File drop-down menu. Then choose your template and your sheet format. From the View palette in the Task pane, drag in an isometric view. You may want to adjust the global scale in the sheet properties, and here we'll switch it to a 1 8 scale. So just right-click in the background, select Properties, and change the scale as needed. Now to add the cut list, Simply right-click in that blank area and select Weldment Cut List from the Tables menu. Once placed, you then select your isometric view again and then choose Auto Balloon from the Annotations toolbar. Now we'd like to focus on just one pipe here to demonstrate how to flatten it out. So we'll just grab this one that's numbered 7 here on the list. And if we can't tell exactly where that arrow is pointing, we can just drag the arrow right up to the part member to verify that that is pipe number 7. We'll control tab to switch back to the model and choose save bodies by right clicking on the cut list feature in the feature manager. Here we can save any or all of the bodies as needed and here we're just concerned with the one that was numbered 7 on our cut list. So we'll create a brand new file, complete the feature, and we can see the part in its new window. The challenge here is that this part is not aligned with any of our standard design planes, so our first step is to fix that. We will create a small reference circle on the right plane for use for alignment. This will just be construction geometry. And then we'll create a small rectangle. Now this rectangle will cut a slit through the part that we can use as we unfold it. So the slit should be very narrow, and in this case we'll add a dimension that shows it as just one-tenth of a millimeter. So now we can exit the sketch and select Move Copy Bodies command, and this will allow us to align our pipe with the reference circle. So we select the pipe body as the body we want to move. We'll select its outer cylindrical face and the reference circle and see the pipe snap right into place as desired. Now we're ready to use that sketch to cut an extruded slot all the way through the part. So we'll choose through all in both directions. And now we can zoom in on that cut extrude feature and clearly see the slit that we've made. It's very tiny, just one-tenth of a millimeter. And now we're ready to convert this part into sheet metal. So from the sheet metal toolbar, choose insert bends. Then select one of the edges from your cut feature that will remain fixed during the unfolding process. And once you exit this command, your pipe is now a sheet metal part and it can be flattened using the flatten command. I can take this flat pattern and save it out as a DXF or DWG file, but rather than saving into a separate CAD format, I'll just add a sheet to my existing drawing document. We'll use Control Tab to switch back to our drawing view. There it is. And we'll select Add Sheet from the tabs at the bottom of my drawing window. So now I'll use my Insert Model View command found on the View Layout toolbar to select the part I require as well as identify the specific flat pattern view that I require. And in order for this to be useful as a flat pattern, it has to be at one-to-one -one scale. So we change that in its properties. And now perhaps also for some clarity, we'll um, We'd like to show an overview drawing showing exactly where this pipe fits in our model. I can add a, an isometric view of our complete frame and even attach a note to the specific member that we've drawn here. If your structural members are too long to fit on a single drawing sheet, you can use the broken view command, also found in the view layout toolbar. And this allows you just to see the ends of a flat pattern on the sheet. And because these ends may have curves that are difficult to dimension, one suggestion may be to first add some reference lines near the ends, dimension between them, and finally break the view. 
And by doing this, you can have an easy way to measure the references um, and you know that your templates will be placed correctly on the pipe before you cut it. This concludes our video tutorial on creating weldment drawings and flattening individual frame members. For more SOLIDWORKS tutorials, visit this site regularly. If your team is not yet using SOLIDWORKS, visit us at www.solidworks.com FSAE to register your team for a free software sponsorship.